Devil of Spansmash. Did she say anything? Or might give us a clue about where she is? Dad, how many times? She didn't want us to know. She just wanted to tell us that she was okay. She's 15, out there on her own. Yeah, well, she's not on her own, is she? Two of them, out there. Anyway, what was going on before with you and Molly? What do you mean? Dad, I'm not stupid. She was seriously cheesed off with you. And I just don't understand why. Oh, it was nothing. What, the way that you're speaking to her? I know what it was. What? Tyrone. She was angry with you because she sent Tyrone on that breakdown and he nearly missed the birth of his baby. Am I right or am I right? Yes, you're right. Thank you. My private education was not wasted. I do understand people. <laughs> oh, you should see her with Max, though. She's like a different person. And I could tell that Ellen Kay was well impressed. Well, let's hope she's a different person in that court hearing tomorrow, because if she's the stroppy madam that I've seen, they're not going to let her anywhere near that kitty. Let's give her a break, Ailey. She's doing her best, bless her. But her best wasn't good enough. That's why they took him away. Ah, oh, there you are. My ears were burning. Mm, that's because we were talking about you. Do you want something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Are you nervous about tomorrow? Yeah. You've got to eat. Go on, then. Um, I'm going to have an early night and read for a bit. See ya. She loves that boy. Go, pal. Hey, do you know what? I was very proud of you in there. What scary stuff, eh? All the policemen. That one with the moustache wanted to lock me up. No, he didn't. He did. He had a lot of keys on his belt. I think he might be in charge of the cells. Yeah, well, let's hope you're not going to be spending any more time in the police station then. So what happens now? Well, hopefully, the police, they'll talk to social services. And then they'll accept what really happened. Well, I didn't actually be able to go home. I hope so. Is everyone going to be angry with me? I hope that they'll be relieved. Do you want me to go around and say sorry? Well, maybe later. But I want to talk to them first. And as soon as Leanne gets out of that shower, she wants you to go around and she wants you to say sorry to Russ, OK? I think I'm going to be saying sorry a lot. Yeah, well, I think you might be right. And next time you want somebody else's toy, maybe you'll think twice. Is that wise? Is what wise? Drinking. Why, you think I've got a drink problem now as well as battering my kids? Please don't get angry. They've just taken my kids away. How can I not get angry? We're innocent victims. That doesn't stop me from getting angry. We have to keep telling ourselves that. We have to suffer like this so that social services can find the real people who abuse children. <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's good. No, listen. If we want our kids to be safe, yeah. we just have to accept this. Oh, so you want me to allow them to rip out my heart and or I'll smile? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Because in a few hours' time, we are going to see our beautiful children. And I don't want them to see how scared or how angry we are. I just want to promise them that they'll be coming home soon. And they will be coming home soon. Why are we meeting here? Because I have to sneak out. Sneak out? How old are you? I have an overprotective big sister. There's a chip. You know, I've got no idea what I'm doing here with you. Come on, let's get smashed. Did you hear the hatred in his voice? You can't argue with a bigot. There are some things that even the great Ken Barlow can't put right. Yeah, but how can he think like that? What happens to someone to make them so bitter, so closed? I don't think I want to know. But look at it this way. At least it's not your fault. Well, how can you say that? I'm the man's father. Yeah, but you didn't bring him up. Well, if that letter hadn't got lost behind the skirting board, I would have been part of his life and it could have been someone completely different. Well, by that token, so could you. <laughs> you might never have had Susan and Peter. You might never have met me. Look, you've done your best. Sometimes you just have to let go. Hello. I, 
Um, Ken called me. Of course he did. Come in. Can't believe it. He's so tiny. Hey, you'd have thought you'd be the first to be a dad. Have you got a girlfriend, Kirk? Not strictly speaking. I went out with his for a while. Really? Yeah, after me. And you, eh? We discussed having kids. Hey, you'll be next. Yeah. It's now to be scared about, mate. It's great. It's like the best thing that could ever happen to you. Hiya, what can I get you? White wine town. You look nice. What's that supposed to mean? It means you look nice. Sorry if a compliment offends you. So how do I normally look? Like a tramp? No, you always look nice, but tonight you look particularly nice. I don't like to leave the paper. Kirk can handle it. Tell me it's a puppy. Come on. Right, I'm just going to go and help Jack with the drinks. Just be careful, you. Don't drop him. I think he likes me. Right. Don't make this difficult. Why? What's up? I want to give you something and I want you to promise that you'll take it. What is it? Promise first. How can I promise if I don't know what it is? It's something nice, OK? Something nice? Like what? Promise me you will accept it. Are you sure it's nice? It's not like a Chinese burn or a jar full of spiders. Nice. Is it? I promise. All right, I promise. Five thousand quid, Jack. I can't accept I this. Promise. Yeah, but I can't break a promise. Mm. So I don't need it. You've got another mouth to feed. Make me happy. Take the money. Trick me. Yeah. It wasn't that hard. Right. Well, you have to accept something from me. I said what? A big fat hug. <laughs> See, I'm not surprised. I feel like I've let you down. Hey, you tried. You know, I've been trying for ten years. Frankly, I'd have been disappointed if you'd done better than me. Yeah, but where did it come from? How can he think like that? I, I didn't always make it easy for him. The first boyfriend I brought home was a lot older than me. I made a massive deal about being accepted, but a part of me was trying to shock him, trying to, I don't know, punish him for not somehow magically understanding and supporting me. I'm guessing that was some time ago. <sighs> yeah. We've had plenty of time to make up. But maybe we never will. I can't believe that. After what he said to you, I've given up expecting him to change. I know he cares about me. We just get on better if we don't see each other. It's not the end of the world. And look, you know, I've got a new granddad. I call that a result. Hey, uh, can I come in? I've got some news. Actually, we're going out in a minute. Yeah, well, trust me. You want to hear this news. Come in. Thanks. Hi, Dev. pete has got some news. Uh, what's the news, Pete? I, uh. Well, to cut a long story short, we've just got back from the uh, police station. Police station? Yeah, Simon's just told them exactly what he told us. A few hours ago. Told them what? Well, that he and Addy, they got into a fight over a toy. And so I pushed Addy, who fell over and banged himself, and that's how he got hurt. It was just a scuffle, you know? It was just... It was two kids scrapping over a toy. Dad, this is good news. <laughs> Have you any idea what we've been going through? Yeah, of course. And that's why, as soon as he told me, Dev, I went straight to the police, mate. Yeah, but he's known about this for ages. I know. But he's, he's just scared that he could get into trouble. Scared? But we've had our children taken away from us. We've been suspected of abusing our own children. And all this time... Dev, he's seven years old. He didn't know what was happening with the grown-ups, did he? 
And then he told the truth because he could see how upset you both we were. We wouldn't have been upset if he just told the truth from the beginning. Yes, I know, and I've said that to him as well. But come on, in the end here, he's, he's, he did the right thing. You know, yesterday, I had to allow s strangers to take my children away from us. And what were they thinking? Because we're supposed to protect them. Yeah. We're supposed to care. And they were taken away from us. I know that. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Your son's put me through the worst nightmare I've ever had. But you're sorry. Dev, all I care about is getting our children back. <laughs> Can you please phone social services well, to I... see whether this means they can come home? Yeah. Just blame me, OK? I'm going to go. Thanks for coming round, Peter. I have to ring in. He definitely looks like you. Really? I can't see it. I think it looks like Wayne Rooney. Oh, look at him, he's got a great big happy spud face. No offence. No, none taken. Where's Molly? Oh, she's at home getting some rest. Apparently this baby thing's quite tiring. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. You've got all this to look forward to. And me. I think I stick to cigar smoking and showing off from the pub. Hey, I do me a bit, I know. Not the difficult bit. It's our job. I think I'll get off now. What, are you not going to come over and see Mark? No, no. Let her have a rest, then. Hey, listen. I'll spend every penny of this on me, son. You spend it which way you want, son. You're a good lad. One of the best. <laughs> Apparently they had a lovely honeymoon. Who did? Roy and Haley. I'm so pleased it all turned out well. Oh, poor thing. Look at that. Don't stare. You told me to look. I said poor thing. That means don't look, even if I say look. The last thing she wants is our pity. Pity? I gave her a compliment. She bit me head off. I know, but look at her on her own. Yes, well, that's a minefield we don't need to wander into. Do you feel uncomfortable around disabled people? Yes, I do. Then we should go over, pay for the drinks. <sighs> Hello. Do you mind if we sit with you? All the other seats seem to be taken. Are you blind? No, but my friend Norris is very short-sighted which is a kind of a, a small disability when you think about it. I, in fact, we none of us are the same, are we? I'd like to think we're all differently abled. I call it disabled. Can you do me a favour? Yes, of course I can. Go away, sit somewhere else. Well, that sounds like an unambiguous message. Stay there. Do you really want to be on your own? I'm waiting for someone. Excellent. We'll warm the seats while you're waiting and then, I promise, we shall disappear into the night. <laughs> Sit. Mum! Oh, Dad! Mum, why are you crying? Because I'm happy. We got to find a trampoline. That's great, then. Come here, trampoline. Yes, honey, in a minute. In a minute. Yes, you can take them home. Come on, come on. Sorry. It's OK. We're playing the computer now. Ten minutes. Back's first go. I me think first. it might take me a bit longer than ten minutes to do me apology. You were very wrong. I know. And I really am sorry. Cheryl, look, I know you thought you were just protecting your kid. But the thing is, they are kids. You can't always trust they're telling the truth. It doesn't make them evil. It's usually just because they're scared. Yeah, I know. I'll do anything to make it up to you. If ever you need a babysitter, if you think you can trust me, just take it one step at a time, OK? Yeah. Can I hold him? Yeah. You'll have one of your own soon. Better get some practice in then. There you go. Oh, support, support is that. <laughs> You'll make a lovely dad. Yeah. Excuse, please. Pregnant lady needs the loo. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. Can you get me a copy of the scan? 
I'd love to send it to Sarah. Yeah, sure. Ask Natasha. Five more minutes and I should be getting back. Yeah. What time are you expecting your friend? We didn't specify a time. Oh, you, you should always specify a time. Otherwise, how do you know if they're late or not? Uh, and would it be too nosy to ask who this friend is? <laughs> yeah, it would. I love your brutal honesty. You say what you mean, and you mean what you say. Please go away. No! <laughs> and you have such a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! Good. Can you take the kids in? I need a quick word. <coughs> Ashley! Did you hear about Simon? What about him? He had a fight with Addy over a toy, and that's how he got hurt. So it wasn't Claire or Sophie? No, it was no one's fault. It was just an accident. We shouldn't have said those things. No, you shouldn't. No excuses. We were wrong. Please tell Claire how sorry I am. Really. Sorry. He's so late. Where's less than my laptop? <laughs> Five more minutes and we're going home. You said that half an hour ago. Will you be so besotted when yours arrives? I'll be worse. I'll warn you. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Hey, are you all right? Um, can I borrow your scan picture? I need to get some copies made. No! No, you can't. You've got to tell Nick the truth. Oh, yeah, I do that and I lose everything. Maybe not. You never know. I know. There you are, love. Oh, You're quiet tonight, Ken. He's had a busy day. Not being at the DIY again. Oh, busy emotionally. You know what? There's something I need to do. Ken, please. No, I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Sorry, Liz. So he's kept it to himself all this time. He was scared. I was scared. Claire's been being attacked from all sides. I've been coping with the boys on the shop on my own because of this. I've got Graham giving the tea right now so I can come over here and find out what's going on. Look, I'm really sorry, Ash. I am. If I'd have known sooner... We could have talked to him. I did talk to him. So he's lied to you? Look, he feels bad, OK? We all do. What, what can I say Yeah, about I know, from... I know. You're sorry. And Simon's sorry. Well, right now, that's just not good enough. Hey, uh, I think your bell's not working. Here's my key. Is this a bad time? I was just leaving. Ash, tell Claire how sorry we are, yeah? Might mean more if you tell her yourself. I will. As soon as I get a chance, I will, I promise. I've had one hell of a day. Why don't you tell me about it? It's a long story. Great. Because I want to hear everything. And I've got as much time as it takes. And if I can help in any way, that is what I want to do. In fact, why don't I put the kettle on and you start at the beginning? the kind of girl who does it in a shed? No, of course not. I want bricks and mortar, or well, you're not getting any. I'll check if Mum and Dad are in there. I'll wait. Please, please! It's bedtime. I don't care what your Uncle Graham says, I'm the boss of this house. No, I am. No, I am. No, I am. Mum! And what are you two doing up at this time? I'll let him stay up a bit later, see how it's Friday. Well, I was going to phone you. It was Simon. He had a bit of a scrap with Addy, that's how they got hurt. Really? Yes, yeah, so this is good news. It had nothing to do with you or Sophie. Yeah. And you're going to be getting a lot of apologies from Sunita and Peter. That doesn't matter. What matters now is my two boys, now come here! Let me show you. 
what are you doing? Fancy coming for a ride? How'd you get in? Said I could borrow it. Climb in. You're a nutcase. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I don't know why you made us sit with her. She was lonely. She, she was practically suicidal by the time we escaped. Isn't that your motor? My home. My, my home has been stolen. Stop! Thief! Are you asleep? No. Too excited. Well, it's good to have you back. I've missed you. Mm, I missed you too. I shouldn't have run away. Well, mm. you've had to put up with a lot of cruel accusations. I threw a few around too. I wish I could say sorry to poor Sophie. Well, at least we can start getting things back to normal now. I, um... I did a lot of thinking at my mum's. And I've made a decision. What kind of decision? I want to move. Move? Away from here, anywhere. But you've been exonerated. It was Simon. I don't care. I don't want to live round here anymore. I can't be happy here. We need a fresh start. It's time. We're moving. Well, he's back in a brand new show and he's joined tonight by JLS, Dawn French and the legend, Tom Jones. Paul O'Grady Live is next. <laughs>